Hi, this is Chris Toy, your Boomer Tech Guide. And today I'm gonna to show you a really easy way to turn your slides into digital photographs. So let's get started. To do this, you're not going to need to buy an app or subscribe to anything special, uh, but what you will need is uh, something you can use as a light table. And what I'm using here is an iPad that I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the notes to a blank page. And so what's great about this is that this will be the light table. So in essence, what I'll do is I will place the slide above the, the iPad, which will then backlight the slide. Now, there's a little bit of a trick here that you're going to have to deal with. And that is, if I place this slide right on the iPad, what's going to happen is the camera is going to pick up the little dots, the pixels on the screen. And you don't want that. You just want the light. So there are a couple ways you can do this. One way is to put a frosted piece of plastic or glass on top of the iPad so that when you place your slide on, the pixels will be frosted out. The other way you can do it, which I think is better because it doesn't block any of the light, is to raise the slide up above the pixels so that the pixels will be out of focus. So they'll be blurred out. And the way you can do that is to use a cookie cutter or a biscuit cutter, which is just a little bit bigger than the image. So we'll put that right on top of that. So now this, so the slide is above the, uh, the pixels. Then what you'll want is you're going to want a way to control the light so that most of the light is coming from behind. And again, the easiest way to do this is to use a recycled toilet paper roll. So you could uh, salvage this from all of the toilet paper that, uh, that you've been hoarding, hopefully you've been using. And we'll just, let me just turn that so it's the smooth part down. So I've cut this down to about three inches, which gives the enough distance for the focal point. And so now let me unlock this. There we go. So now, when I put the camera right over it, you can see the image. But what I can do now is I can zoom in the image. So there we have, and since the orientation is a little bit different, I can change the orientation as well. And then we'll just Shrink that back down a little bit. All right. And we'll just snap a picture. And there we have the slide of the, of the, uh, oops, what's that? The slide of this beautiful French countryside reflection on a bridge. So let me show you a couple other ways that we can hold this above. Another way is to use a can and we would just we could just put that can right over this and we could just take the picture that way. So instead of a toilet paper roll. What I like to do is I like to use a plastic box and what I've done is I've drilled a hole in the plastic box and I'll just put that right over the whole thing, look down in there, and we'll put 
that right over that. And see, look at that. We can kind of move that right around. And we can take that photograph. What's nice about this is it holds it nice and steady. And you can kind of zoom in and out. All right. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Just a way to turn your slides into digital images so that you can save them and share them and create slideshows. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.